Hi, I'm Scott Miller. In this video, we'll take a closer look at how we can ensure that our pets stay safe from parasites, even in their own back gardens. With many wild animals entering our cities and becoming less fearful of humans, we all need to understand these garden invaders and protect our pets from new parasitic threats like tapeworms and roundworms. Many wild animals have had their habitats reduced by increasing size of urban areas. In many cases, the spread of humans has taken away the animal's natural hiding places, rearing grounds and sources of food, driving some wild animals into the urban jungle. As foxes make themselves at home in cities, one of the parasites they carry, the fox tapeworm, moves ever closer to humans. The foxes become infested with the tapeworm when eating small rodents, which carry an encysted form of the parasite. The cysts form after eggs are swallowed, and in humans they can destroy the liver and other organs, with potentially fatal consequences if not treated. The risk of infection for humans comes not only from foxes, but also from cats and dogs, which carry the adult tapeworm. Raccoons are a common pest in the cities of North America. The animals transmit parasites and diseases such as Chagas disease, rabies and canine distemper to house pets and humans through carriers such as fleas, lice and ticks. In some areas of the US, up to 80% of all raccoons are infected with a roundworm, which can cause zoonotic disease, a threat to human health. Since each raccoon can excrete millions of roundworm eggs in its droppings, the chances of these finding their way into the inquisitive dog will increase. Infections in humans are rare, though extremely dangerous, due to the ability of the parasite's larvae to migrate into brain tissue. Concern for human infection has been increasing over recent years due to the urbanization of rural areas, bringing humans closer to the parasite's host, the raccoon. To ensure that our pets stay safe, we need to keep a keen lookout for these wild pests and worm our animals regularly. I will advise that you talk to your vet about how best to protect your much-loved pets. Finally, let's take a look at an urbanised virus for a change. The relatively recently recognised hantaviruses are found worldwide, especially South Asia, and can cause lung disease and kidney failure. Carried by their natural hosts, mice and rats, which have been attracted to human communities, the hantaviruses are shed in droppings, urine and saliva. Humans can inhale the virus or become infected through contaminated hands, while mouse bites are also infectious. The people most at risk are those who spend a lot of time outdoors, such as foresters, joggers and even dog owners. Dogs and cats do not carry the virus, but they can bring infected rodents into the home. And there's also a risk posed in cleaning unused rooms in which mice and rats are found. Mild winters help to increase the number of rodents and can lead to outbreaks of disease, both in rural areas and in cities. Yet another good reason to keep wild rat and mice populations under control. With so many parasitic life forms trying to invade our back garden jungles, we need to stay vigilant to ensure our pets stay healthy and safe wherever possible. For many common parasites, the answer lies in a simple, convenient monthly spot-on treatment, which will offer the best protection for your best friend. Ask your local veterinarian for more information.